Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Susan Lynn. Thank you for joining me today. I'm a psychic and a medium, and today I'm going to tell you a really interesting thing that happened to me yesterday and today. I met Prince. I really did. Now, of course, he's crossed over, and um, that's okay because I'm a medium. So, uh, but I, you know, I, I he came into my house, and I want to tell you the story because it's really fascinating. So let me start with what was happening yesterday. Yesterday was Taco Tuesday. So I was making tacos in my kitchen, minding my own business, right? Well, the first thing that happened is my dad, who has crossed over as well, popped into the kitchen. And that's pretty unusual. I mean, he does visit me, but not while I'm making tacos. But anyway, um, he popped in, he didn't say anything, and then he popped out. And I thought that's random, right? Next thing that happens is I'm thinking, about my video last night that I had the pet psychics on my channel. And I'm just thinking about, you know, um, I don't know, my mind was kind of wandering and I was thinking about introducing them. And in my mind, I said, dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. And I was like, what? What? Now that's how your spirit guides talk to you, right? You're wanting to say one thing or think one thing. You think something else. That's your spirit guides. So I was like, what's going on? Is there a funeral? Are we gonna have a funeral? You know, like I'm, you know, browning the meat. You know, like, is there gonna be a funeral? Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today. Repeated it again. I'm like, I don't even understand what you're trying to say, but I am not saying that tomorrow. I'm not saying that tonight. In the beginning of this video, I'm not doing that. It doesn't make any sense. That's ridiculous. Next thing I know, Prince, the Prince pops in right next to me, standing next to my stove in my kitchen. And uh, yes, he is a small dude. And um, I will say this, that 99% of my mediumship readings, uh, when I connect to those who crossed over, they appear sort of out in my head, but um, I see them sort of in my mind's eye, if you will. Very rarely do I see them standing like in my house. Prince was in my house. Now, I'm not saying he was three-dimensional in my house. I'm saying that I was seeing him outside of my, my mind. Outside, he was, I could see him in my house. So he, his presence, his energy was here, more, more here on this plane. Normally, I travel and meet those people halfway, so to speak, right? So I go outside and meet them a little bit halfway towards them, towards across the veil. Well, Prince just came right on in. He's standing there next to me uh, as I'm making tacos. And I think, dearly beloved, we're gathered here today. I'm thinking, okay, I'm starting to put this together. This is part of his song, right? Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today. Get through this crazy thing called life. I'm like, okay, this is my guides really tripping out right now. They brought Prince in to talk to me. They must really need to get my attention or I'm in trouble. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they've, they've really upped the stakes here. So, um, I'm like, uh, going, Hey, hi Prince. Um, like I'm a fan, you know, I'm a fan, that purple ring thing. That was, that was cool. I really love that. But you know, I kind of, you know, I mean, I am a fan, but you know, I don't, I don't, I don't have any music of yours, you know, to play or anything, but, but I do like it. And he's like, Oh, that's cool. He's like, that's cool. He's like, um, he starts talking to me about his family, his, his family, his, his personal family. And he starts talking about his sister and he says, uh, my sister, Sharon. So, you know, I'm Googling princess sister, Sharon. I'm like, okay, this is another check mark. And like, I'm going to tell you guys, any mediums out there and most of the psychics, if you don't think you're crazy at least once or twice, you're lying because <laughs> this stuff makes you think you're crazy, right? Like, how can I be talking to Prince, right? So he starts talking about his sister and because of uh, the way he's talking and because I'm uh, honestly, I'm cooking tacos. I'm not really a hundred percent focused on him. I'm getting like ever, I'm getting two out of five words or three out of five words. So I, I got my family, I got my aunt or something like that. I got my sister, Sharon. Uh, he's just talking about his family. And I'm like, that's cool. Prince came to talk to me about his family, right? My tacos are done. I put them on the plate. I go in my living room. He follows me into my living room. And I sit on the couch 
and he sits on the couch next to me. Now, there were other seating. There was other seating. He sat right, right next to me. So I'm like, okay, all right. And then I kind of looked at him out of the corner of my eye. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't want to stare at him because you still get like kind of celebrity shock even when they're dead, you know? So I kind of checking him out out of the corner of my eye. And I'm thinking, this guy's waist is this big around. My thigh is this big around. His waist is the same size as one of my thighs. I got to cut back on the cheese, right? I mean, dang, I need to do something. So anyway, like, I don't know how he could be so thin, right? He's, he's very delicate. He, he's, um, he, I mean, delicate. I, I don't want to put him down. I don't think that puts him down. I'm just saying he's a small bone guy, okay? And, um, and of course he was wearing like a white shirt with some kind of like scarfy thing with like, um, you know, whatever those things are that hang, you know, like sleeves, but you know, you have the like uh, big, <laughs> you can tell I really like fashion. I don't know what those things are. Cuffs, the cuffs of his, of his, you know, were like big and, um, he had some big old boots, some big platform boots on and tight fitting pants that were sequiny kind of thing. And I got the impression that this was low key. I got the impression that this was like what this dude would go grocery shopping in. Like this was low key. You know what I mean? Like he wasn't dressing up for this. <laughs> Obviously I wasn't either. I didn't even clean my house. I didn't know Prince was coming. So anyway, he sits next to me and I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta figure this out. Like this is, this is tripping me out too much. So I'm like, Hey, um, why are you here? <laughs> you know, like, can you explain to me why you're here? And he's like, yeah. Um, and he, he said to me telepathically or, or probably clear cognizantly. Right. So I got the thoughts. He's here because of one of my sessions. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. That's really cool. I'm going to read somebody that knows you. And he's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, wow, that's so, so cool. So I said, I was done for Tuesday. So obviously I thought, well, is it tomorrow? And he goes, yeah, not, yeah, nods. He's like, yeah. And so I'm like, okay. And I asked him which one, but he didn't tell me. Names are, are, are hard for me to get. So I got my phone out. And I looked at my calendar for today and I saw my sessions and I intuitively picked this one session and I said, is it that one? <laughs> and he's like, yep. He nods and then poof, he's gone. I mean, I think he was kind of feeling bad about interrupting my dinner, but anyway, just left. So, you know, I'm thinking, okay, well, we're going to see, you know, we're going to be able to, you know, prove this, right? Cause you know, really and truly with psychic work and, and, and mediumship, you want to get the validation, right? It, you're not really a good medium wants validation. We want to make sure that we're really talking to your grandma or your, or, you know, the prince in this matter. So I get to that session and I, I'm talking to this lady and I have her permission to talk about this. Obviously I'm not going to give any private details. Um, and I go through the whole session and there's no mention of prince and I, I just knew that there, I mean, it was so, everything was so clear and he was so here, right? And so many things validated the Paisley Park, his sister's name, so many things. Um, I just knew and it, and it, and it didn't happen. So I, at the very last five minutes of the session, I said, look, I didn't want to waste your, your time on your session asking this question, but, um, would you or your husband or your family have any connection, either direct or indirect to Prince, the musician. And she thinks about it and she says, well, you know, my, my husband did some work, you know, he's a producer, he does a lot of work for different bands and different things. And, but I don't, I don't really remember Prince. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, right. Okay, well, no problem, right? And then we started talking about her husband and his, you know, career and whatnot. And, and she said, oh, um, you know, I said, you know, he mentioned Paisley Park. And she said, oh, that's, that's in Minneapolis, right? And I'm like, yeah, I think it is. And she says, oh, well, my husband is doing some work with a band out of Minneapolis. And I'm like, that's it. That's it right there. Okay. That, 
to me, that was validation enough, right? That, that this guy was working with a band out of Minneapolis, you know what I mean? Odds are they knew each other or something. It was good enough for me. I was willing to say case closed. Well, next thing you know, she gets off the phone with me and, um, and I had forgotten to give her the song. I, I, the whole reason this whole thing started was let's go, let's go crazy. So I texted her and I said, by the way, this is the song that came up when, uh, Prince first, um, presented himself to me. And she said, she texted me back and she said, you know, it's really funny. I was just going to text you because my husband, I just talked to my husband and he did work with Prince. He produced Prince's videos. So yeah, he worked with Prince. Like he totally worked with Prince, right? Um, and I have to tell you back up just a little bit and say that, remember I said, I, I said, well, let's talk about your husband for a minute. At that time, Prince came back to me, to the reading and was giving the husband this, uh, career advice and saying, yeah, um, it was, it was a little bit general, but it was basically like Prince was saying, I reinvented myself so many times. And, and so people need to be okay with that. People need to be okay with just reinventing yourself, like change genres or change something. He's like that, that's okay. Right. And so he actually gave, he came into the reading and gave this woman, my client gave information to her to share with her husband. And so when she texted me back and said, Oh yeah, he worked with Prince. I was like, what? That is so cool. Taco Tuesday never was this interesting before. Right. Dearly beloved, we gather here today to get through this crazy thing called life. How amazing is that, right? How amazing is that? So um, I wanted to share it with you because I just thought it was totally amazing. Um, of course, uh, celebrities come to mediums all the time. I mean, there just usually has to be a reason unless you call them up, uh, which you can. You know, like I could call Prince up and if he was available to answer the phone, the mediumship phone, he would do that, I'm sure. Uh, but he's totally cool. Like he's been kind of, he kind of popped in right before I did this video. Cause I had some technical issues and, uh, and, uh, yeah, he popped in again earlier today. So yeah, me and Prince are down. Like we're, we're buds. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? And I'm over there singing his song and it's just terrible. I mean, y'all it's really bad. It's really bad. And I, and I just was like, oh, I'm so sorry to be singing your song because it's just not pretty. <laughs> you know, it's just not. People that are not musically inclined probably shouldn't sing songs around, you know, the people that created the music. <laughs> but he's so cool. He really is a really cool, very kind guy. A really just chill guy. Um, well, yeah, he joined me for Taco Tuesday. So anyway... I hope you found this interesting and uh, thank you so much to my client for letting me share the story. I really appreciate it. And um, let's all go listen to some prints right now, right? I can't play it because YouTube gets mad about those things. And by the way, I wouldn't be paying Prince his royalties. So he'd probably be uh, not too happy about it either. Thanks again for joining you guys. Everybody take care. I'll see you again real soon right here on this channel. Bye.